Now let's take a look at HPing. You have HPing 2, HPing 3. Let's go ahead and go with a newer version here. And as you can see here, we have uh, the identifiers on what we can utilize for the options for our HPing and SOHARTH. So let's go ahead and give it a shot and see what we get. Um, to verify, I just want to check real quick to make sure that my internal 2008 web server is available. IS7, awesome. All right now that we kind of verify that the 2008 server IS7 is up and it's actually responding back, that's good. What we want to do now is possibly do some testing, might maybe do a simple um, denial service attack. So what we're going to do here is basically from the options that we have available, we're going to throw out some of the uh, particular options here. So if we look over here, you'll notice here it says our minus i interval. So here what we're going to do is put in an interval value uh, which will be in microseconds. Then we also have, um, we're going to use the uppercase S, which tells us that we're doing a SYN packet. As you can see there, our uppercase S for the SYN packet. And then we're also going to do a lowercase P, which is our destination port number that we're going to utilize. And that's pretty much it. So let's see what happens and see if we can maybe simulate a, actually more like a distributed denial service attack on that server. So let's go ahead and, and pop it in. Okay, we're going to put it minus i, and then we're going to actually make that u1, uppercase s, p. We're going to do port 80 on 192.168.2.95. And here we go. And as you can see now, we're actually sending it out there, and we're throwing out packets. We should, we should be getting some activity on the 2008 side. Let's take a look at that. Now one simple way to find out on the server how it's doing is we're just going to open up Task Manager and uh, look under the Networking tab. And you can see here we're we're looking at 0.31%, you know, that's not bad, but let's go ahead and check out the performance on the resource monitor here. So if you look at our network, you can pretty much see that we have a high rate on it, and right now it's going at about 3 megabits per second. So what I can do here, if we wanted to drop this, what we can do is actually run it, at, I'll run it through, and get, for instance, let's, let's drop back over. As you can see, it's still going. I'm just going to go ahead and cancel out of that, and you can see that it's dropped a lot of packets and had around 27% packet loss and so forth. Now let's take a look at the 2008 server, and you'll notice that the network utilization all of a sudden went down to zero. So you notice that we had some sort of denial service attack, but it wasn't strong enough to really make a huge effect on it, but uh, again, it's just more of a, a tool that you could use to do some testing uh, on your web servers and so forth with as we just demonstrated. Um, so as you can see here, we're totally on zero. If we bring it back up, try it once more, we throw it out there, network utilization all of a sudden spikes back up as you can see here. So it definitely is, uh, could be used for testing of this nature. So if you're trying to test your web server for a do dis distributed denial service attack, uh, you could utilize HPing 3. All right. Now one thing too we can use HPing 4, which would be uh, testing for ICMP requests that are not coming through. What we can do for instance is, um, let's ping a popular one here. Microsoft.com, for instance. You notice here we're not getting anything back, so they're blocking actively ICMP requests. But what we could do very simply is we can um, use HPing 
and we're just sending out send packets with Microsoft.com. So as you notice here, now we're getting replies versus before we weren't getting replies. So there you have it. Very nice, very simple, and again, it's a tool you can definitely check out, do some testing with. Wonderful.